Hey guys, and welcome back to My name is Chad Chad. And if you don't currently have a boyfriend and you want one, then don't worry because I am here to help. After you watch this selection of TikToks that I've collected and specifically curated just for you, you'll never want one again. A boyfriend. You'll never want a boyfriend ever again. You're welcome. We've watched stuff like this before, but this time there are no vampires, no mafia, no kidnappings, just good old fashioned boyfriend POVs. Back in my day, we couldn't watch dating POVs on the clock app. If we wanted to pretend like we were in a relationship with someone, we had to play episode or read fan fiction like normal people. I'm really just praying that we can progress past the need for stuff like this on TikTok because I don't know how many more relationship POVs I can handle that are supposed to be sweet but are really just guys acting like they deserve boyfriend of the year because they still want to hang out with their girlfriend while she's on her period. You mean you can like be friends with your girlfriend while also being in a relationship? groundbreaking. When in reality, something that they could do that would actually be helpful would be to check out today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Intamina. I'm a big fan of living sustainably whenever and wherever I can. I'm also a big fan of talking about periods and other things that are considered TMI because they shouldn't be and it's not safe to treat them like they are. Where I grew up, there was a lot of stigma around periods, so I never really had anyone there to explain to me the different options when it comes to period products. So today we're going to be talking about Intamina's selection of menstrual cups, specifically the Lily Cup cup one, which is this cup right here. Menstrual cups are a great way to reduce the amount of waste created by pads and tampons if you are able to use them. Some people aren't and that's also okay, but if you do use menstrual cups or you want to get started using them, Intamina is the perfect place to go. They don't just offer products, they also provide education in the form of ebooks and blog posts to try and break down some of those stigmas surrounding things like periods and menopause. There's also a newsletter that covers topics from menstruation to pregnancy to pelvic floor health. I think one of the most daunting parts of starting to use menstrual cups, at least in my experience, is the process of actually getting the cup in, which is why I highly recommend the Lily Cup 1. It's the perfect starting size and is made out of medical grade silicone, so it's completely safe and odor free. It's also comfortable for both people who already use menstrual cups and for first time users. It is reusable and gives you up to eight hours of protection. It might seem a little daunting to insert if it's your first time, but I promise there's nothing to worry about and it does get easier every time you use it. You just fold like this to insert the cup. There are different ways of folding. I believe this one is called a C fold. This is just my preferred method of folding. This is a leak proof a double rim up here and a loop to make removal easier. The cup also comes with this little case and is collapsible, making it easy to take with you everywhere. If you're interested in learning more about your period, you can click the link in my description and go to their website, intamina.com, where you can also take advantage of the many discounts they have going on right now. Thank you to Intamina for sponsoring today and let's get back to the video. Babe, 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 wake up. My boyfriend's coming, you have to hide. Hmm? Yeah, hide, hurry, hide. Guys, I have some very bad news. If your boyfriend's first half asleep reaction to this is to actually get up and hide, y'all need to have a chat. No, babe, when you said get up and hide, I thought you meant get up and hide. My love for you, because there's so much of it, it's massive, like my which I only use with you, by the way. Also, if y'all wanna go ahead and place your bets on how many of these videos are gonna feature LED lights, you can go ahead and do that now. My bet is all, every single one of them. No. Please put down the broccoli. You're not posing for selfies. You're on FaceTime with your grammatically ignorant partner. And why would anyone be made about this anyway? You wouldn't let them off FaceTime long enough for them to get some shut eye and now you want to be mad about getting woken up in the morning? We need our 12 hours, Brad. If I was on the other end of this POV, you would barely get an apology. Babe? Oh, hey, babe. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just brushing my teeth. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so I should probably head out for work soon. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you. Is that a cow? Oh yeah, I'm just I'm just making a bowl of cereal. You drink whole milk? POV, your back hurts. Wrong. It's not a POV. My back does hurt all the time. I have the spine of an 89 year old woman who spent her entire life thinking that you're supposed to keep your knees straight while lifting. I blame it on genetics and not the fact that I spend eight plus hours a day like this. I got cold. Some of you were asking where my jacket was from for my last couple videos. This is a bathroom. My mom got it for me 
like three years ago for Christmas, the pocket is falling off. I don't care how bad my back hurts. No one is this good at giving massages. How good must you think you are at massages to think that you can put someone in the mood with a single touch? I'd also like to point out that not only are LED lights in this video, they are actually integrated into the script. LED lights are now euphemisms for doing the deed, for the devil's tango, the dirty and square deed. This makes me wonder, was like, was there ever a variation of this in history in the past at some point where they were like, now stop it, Jedediah, or you're gonna have to light the beacon. Please do not do this immediately after I wake you up unless you're prepared to be taken to a hospital. Some of these POVs, because this is such a, it's such a specific, minute situation that it has me wondering how it was thought up because nothing significant enough is happening for this to have been on the mind organically. All that to say, did you do this? Did this happen? Is this something you did in real life and it went so well that you needed to recreate it? Or he just really, really likes this song. Sorry, a cover of this song. Hey, wake the f up. What are you doing? Mm, this is my favorite song. Copyright and royalty free office motivational song with guitar. Yeah. to this. This is that trend that white people did for two weeks where they romanticized getting arrested. How do they film these? Like, do they have someone at the beginning to do the first part? Actually, I think those are his own hands somehow. That's actually pretty impressive. What was the crime? Just wearing a letterman jacket with nothing underneath? You're under arrest? for attempting to chase. There's so much unnecessary movement. Like, what is the cop doing back there? You are arrested. Not to mention how calm we are in this POV where our boyfriend is getting arrested. All we have to say about this is babe and we don't even use an exclamation point. You are arrested. H hands behind your back. Calm babe, oh my God. I am arrested, babe. Babe, oh no. they're gonna take babe. me away. I love you so much. It was wearing this Letterman jacket was 100% worth it for you. Oh no, don't take You'll him. the day that you decided to wear this outfit today. What were you thinking? Legally though, they have to let him go because they didn't read him his Melissa rights, so. So I feel like you maybe might still have some feelings for your ex. I have a strong suspicion that the next video in this POV series was something like, POV, my girlfriend broke up with me and I have no idea why. Never planned that one day I'd be losing you. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were great together and everything was perfect. And honestly, you were the best girlfriend I've ever had. So sorry, I'm so rude. This is my current girlfriend, Samantha. Hi, I'm Samantha, nice to meet you. She's all right. Anyway, like I was saying, your p did be bussin'. <laughs> At some point, it even seems like the new girlfriend is rooting for the ex in this situation, maybe in another life. There's no tone indicators, so it could be A, <laughs> yeah, maybe in another life, or B, yeah, maybe in another life, or C, yeah, maybe in another life. Probably. Kind of confused by the dynamics in this one. POV, your ex-girlfriend walks in with her new boyfriend, but it kind of seems like it's this guy's ex-girlfriend, not ours, unless this is supposed to be us and this is more of a third person POV. Is that even a thing? I also like how the girlfriend doesn't even notice us until we lightly squeeze her boyfriend's left pectoral muscle. It's just we come across as kind of aggressive and scary. So maybe we weren't the best boyfriend. Just seems like we're the kind of ex that you would be keeping an eye out for and would probably notice, especially since there's no one 
else in this elevator and we are exactly negative two inches away from her. The caption doesn't seem to be telling us the full story. She walks in with her new boyfriend and then what? What's happening there? Are we gonna fight or are we about to make out? This next one is also in an elevator. I don't know when elevators became like the new standard for TikTok backgrounds. They just all simultaneously started filming POVs in them. I wonder if they all use the same one, this one specifically, because not only is it in fact an elevator, but it also has LED lights. So they don't have to miss out on using that essential staple in their content. It might not even be a real elevator. It might be like that private jet set in LA that influencers use. I just say that because it looks like multiple videos have been made in this room. The smudges on the walls make it look like someone either filmed a getting arrested POV or someone got it on, you know someone turn the LEDs red. For some reason, TikTok POVers prefer making videos on toxic relationships rather than healthy ones. There's a lot of jealousy, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of toothpicks for some reason, which I don't, when I think charismatic bad boy, I don't really imagine someone picking plaque, but what do I know? For example, one of the popular tropes is to imagine you're in a relationship where your boyfriend doesn't let you talk on the phone. Totally normal behavior. If they ever get married, this is, he's gonna have a rough day. Who is that? This is my dad. He's walking me down the aisle. Okay, well then who's that? That is your best man, and you've known him since preschool. Then who's this? That is you in a mirror. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so sorry, sir. Oh this no, it's okay. Understanding. It's just, you know. It's totally fine. Wedding day nerves. It happens. No one has ever done that little investigation to make sure someone is asleep. Oh, hey, their hair is perfectly styled and they're wearing jeans and an Apple watch. They must be in a REM cycle. That's on us in this POV, okay? But we aren't the only ones to blame. Why are you pretending to be asleep? Were you waiting on a one-sided declaration of love or were you just waiting for them to leave so you can play Fortnite? This all could have been avoided. Maybe next time we just do some extra checking before revealing our deepest secrets. Well, hello, Barbara. Hello, Abigail. How's the restaurant doing? It's fantastic. Thanks to my secret recipe that you'll never know. Right, 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 right. What was the secret recipe again? <laughs> Please, you'll never get it that easy. It's chicken bouillon. Aha! I'm gonna call it there, guys. Please remember to stay hydrated and to not date people who treat you like shit. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on my video out of all the videos that are on here. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.